Marvin, you must be a little disappointed, but all's not lost. I am disappointed, but all is not lost because uh, this is all part of the of the endurance world. You have your ups, you have your downs, and it's a learning experience, a learning process, and we just learn to come back better and stronger. Take us through some of the things that happened earlier today that would have resulted in you having to kind of pull out at the end. Okay, so we completed the first loop. It was pretty good. We had a good first loop. We came in, we passed the inspection with flying collars. The vet was very impressed, but there was a full start and there was a whole lot of confusion in that start they ended up calling a restart of the race so those of us that had completed the, the loop had to wait for everybody to come in in that two hours period we realized that the mayor was acting unusual she was sensitive to the touch and so we kept an eye on her and after a while Lori Shiflett who is the chef to keep and also the owner she decided to retire her they scheduled the restart at 11.15 but about 45 minutes prior to that that's when she made the call then when we went to go you know get her checked out we discovered that there was an increase in enzyme in the muscle and that what was causing the sensitivity because she began to cramp and tighten and that's something that's common in this sport you have to be very careful of them cramping and tightening up and it's, it's various reasons causes it and for standing around waiting for two hours even though we were walking her you know you can't start this ride and then stop and so it, it just didn't all work together do you think the organizers were a bit overwhelmed by so many starts having to take place in such a short space of time? No, uh, in fact, th at this level, this is a four-star ride. This is, they're used to this being huge. And so it was, a, I think there was 124 starters. And so it's normal for them to have that many. But we don't know what went on with the, with the officials, how it got it all twisted up. No one knows. As the riders, you don't really know what's going on behind. We just follow instructions. I was in that first group that was sent the wrong way. And, you know, we had a pretty good pace going. Everybody thought they were riding well. And we get back and found out that we went the wrong way. And so we don't know how it turned out like that and so everybody's just dismayed and so the half that got you know that went the right way they feel like we cheated and we feel like we were cheated because the officials sent us the wrong way you know too soon everybody was supposed to start at once and there was a controlled start and it was all looking pretty well then all of a sudden it was wrong okay so where do we go from here as far as you competing okay so of course i'm out in this competition because we retired her so for the uh 2018 try on I'm out, but I we retired, so I did not get pulled from a four-star ride. So that basically means that you know we retired and we we ride an option to be out because of you know we were being concerned about the care of the horse, and that's pretty common. And so now I can move on in my three stars, you know, whichever I want. And then when the next four-star comes up, I am still qualified to compete at a four-star level, so I can continue on. Now with the impending weather coming in, do you feel it's time? for you to uh, make haste and get out of there with the horse and the owner? That's actually what we were just, just discussing. We are, we have been looking at the forecast and we're trying to determine whether it's a good idea to get out of North Carolina. <laughs> the horse resides in Florida and so we're trying to decide, you know, what's the best thing for us to do at this time. So we were just meeting about that so we could decide what's the best option. Before I let you go, last night was the opening ceremony. Take us through the emotion of being in such a prestigious event event and you getting the chance to carry the Bermuda flag. Oh my god, I was honored to pieces. I mean I was and as a matter of fact I commented prior to even going to the arena I saw so uh my wife I said I hope I don't cry through this whole process but I managed to keep it together. It was very exciting and it's been an honor to carry the flag for Bermuda. I was totally thrilled and I love the picture that they captured because they showed that picture captured exactly what I was feeling. I was feeling an excitement and honor and I was just totally happy I mean it just it just doesn't get any better than that other than having the chance to win the thing <laughs> I got a chance to see you come in with the flag and and I saw the emotion of you jumping around they didn't show much of it but the little bit they showed showed you elated that you were part of such a phenomenal event yes and at that particular time so we were walking around the whole arena and I was looking for my wife and I was looking for people in the stand and I spotted a Bermuda flag and it was Annabelle Collins and her parents. 
And so when I spotted them, I started leaping for joy. And when I talked to them after it, Ross Collins was like, oh, you were so excited because you started jumping up and down. I was excited because I saw a fellow Bermudian. I